Hey y'all, it's Nick from 3-2 Pitch, and welcome back. We have some breaking and very underrated news we're going to talk about today. In this one, we are talking about Gio Gonzalez signing a free agent contract with the Chicago White Sox. You know, when I first saw this deal, I was went through my head, you know, oh, there goes Gio Gonzalez. I didn't really look too hard. I'm like, you know what, he's going to be a good starter for whatever team gets him. I'll put it off and look later. I think it was out somewhere. It was so underrated that I didn't even have to look at it and make good sense out of it. Gio Gonzalez has been a sneaky good pitcher the last couple of years. Granted, last year he was down with an injury for most of the season. I had him on a fantasy team. He still pitched to a 3.5 ERA in 17 uh, starts, 87 and a third innings pitch, 78 strikeouts, 1.29 whip. So Gio... Okay, let's just go over his career stats, too. That They're, they're still good. 3.68 ERA, 1,901 in a third innings pitched, 1,826 strikeouts, and a 1.31 whip. So Gio Gonzalez, a sneaky, underrated pitcher. This signing by the White Sox is so good. So good. I made a Keiko video link right here that I keep forgetting that he's even... A part of the team right now like he is sneaky good and underrated he is going to go win 10 ball games at least for the white Sox. he's his veteran presence i mean i thought keiko was a veteran oh Gio gonzalez is so much better i mean he has a 5 million guarantee uh 4.5 million in the coming season 1 million in incentives and uh, the club has a 500k uh, buyout on a 7 million dollar club option so I mean, this deal is super cheap too. I mean, the White Sox have gone out, and they're they're supposed they're strongly, like pushing to sign Edwin Encarnacion. I mean, that just came out too. I mean, the White Sox are making moves. They want to compete in this very weak division of the AL Central, make it interesting. So I had a comment on the Keuchel deal by Jesse Town. Uh, par- sorry if I uh, pronounced that wrong. He's saying, I believe you also get reunited with Grandal in Chicago too. So there's that. Yes, that is a great point too. Gio Gonzalez came over, uh, a little, not last year. I believe he came over in the trade deadline, if I'm not mistaken, to Milwaukee. And this last year he worked with Yasmani Grandal. So maybe there's some sort of correlation with Grandal and Gonzalez that we don't know about. Grandal did start the career with the Dodgers. I don't believe Gonzalez ever played with the Dodgers. However, Gio has, could be, you know, worked really well with Grandal last year. And he's like, hey, you know, I want to sign where Grandal signs. Hits up the White Sox and, you know, there's that. So there might be something more uh, that uh, he's pointing out that maybe there is a stronger bond between Gonzalez. Grandal and Gonzalez that'll make this deal even so much better for the White Sox they're getting a steal of a deal man this is a great contract super underrated White Sox this is a great move I wish the Mets went out and got him last year I wish the Mets went out and got him this year five million guarantee I mean the Mets could pay this guy five million dollars and and not even have Porcello you can save five million dollars on Porcello I mean he is such a better pitcher than Porcello in my opinion like wow his numbers have been so much better I'm just furious that the Mets just didn't go out they overlooked this guy everyone in the league over overlooked this guy yeah. that's how underrated he is even the Mets who went out and got Rick Porcella and Michael Walker two pitchers that are by far worse than Gio Gonzalez the Mets went out and got I'm like oh boy you know you win something you lose some White Sox you clearly clearly came out winners here I think possibly the most underrated move. He is easily going to get you a bunch of quality starts. He can go fire him off two, three in a row, you know, then maybe have a not so good, you know, not good start, you know, a win. I mean, he's just a veteran presence in this young rotation. Like I said, everything in the Keiko deal, man, it is such a great deal. If you're the White Sox, such a bargain. I like the move. White Sox fans, I want to know what you guys think. Comment section below. Uh, Make sure to subscribe. We have a banger coming out on Christmas Day. Don't want to miss it. But yeah, YouTube recommends you watch this video right here. My most recent uploads right here. Click right here to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.